Right, part one of the Yamaha YZFR1. Right, let's get cracking. Obviously, we've already gone through. All the bits. See so they're wanting us to build robot stand. Right, let's get started. Let's see, let's have glass, nice and clearish. Sorry about that. Right, part one. Let's get cracking. See, this is all going to be painted in one go because obviously I'm going to gloss, uh, not gloss it, sorry. I use the super glue, can't fault it. Yeah, obviously, because the motorbike stands are usually red, so. You need a little This off. Is that done? Oh, tell I've not done this for a long time.
Right. Gonna set you up on a time lapse so I can cut all these engine parts off, get it all glued up. Then we can go into priming mode. Right. Obviously I've not put these bits on because it's going to be easier to, to glue that into there once we've painted. I mean, yeah, brush will be able to get into there so it's not going to be a problem. So, obviously on this one we've got to mix a bit of colour. The bottom part, half of the engine, has to be an XF16 two parts and an XF56 one part. So we mix that up. Obviously, I'll show you what that is. So, I mean, we could potentially... I mean, some people prime, some people don't. But the top part's an X18, which is a semi-gloss black. So, I'm personally thinking... surface black does a wicked job and obviously this has to be XF16 which is flat aluminum and obviously that is 18 so that's black even that is black but we still have to give it a touch up and this is a mixture of one part X11 and one part X12 so it's chrome and gold leaf so all right what i'll do is so i'm trying to keep these videos quite short i'm going to come back because you've obviously seen there's loads of videos and had to, um to prime so i'm going to whoop these all in primer we'll come back when we're doing the painting and um i'll see you in a bit excuse the shaky cam right We've masked the top part of the engine. So I found this equivalent colour because obviously I've Googled the actual R1 engine and it is literally identical to that colour. And obviously this gold piece here and it's somewhere else as well. I can't think where. Uh, yeah, so that's basically a chrome gold, so we're going to do that, the rally gold, because it looks quite a nice gold. So, yes, so that's that. Uh, there was it, it had to be, oh, and over there as well. So, I'm going to try something, but don't know how well it's going to go. Sit up on time lapse for painting.
So we did this place here. So the instructions needs to be gold. So Everything unmasked, and we can Let me sort this camera out. Sorry, people. help if I was to actually find the proper end. There it is. If you remember, we had to do the bottom half one colour. Well, bottom three quarters, actually. go. Now that looks good if I do say so myself. Well happy with that. Very happy. So it just finishes it, gives it a bit. We've got no overspray, which is good. Perfect. Obviously, that XF got a bit of break, uh, brush painting to do. Right. So let's finish putting this back together. This is the piece that needs to be brush painted. So I'm going to use uh, flat maroon XF16. It calls for. See, get yourself one of these on Amazon. Oh, this, so you can't actually see any of that, can you? A little paint mixer. I know Badger done, but I think it's about £10 on Amazon. Sit that in there. I'll right, just put that to one side for a minute. I always give it a mix up with the uh, mixer. They're on Amazon though, they're really worth it. It's not a silly man, like it says. I think it's like, a t like 10 pounds. So we've just got to paint this in flat aluminum. Which in America, well, flat aluminum in America and it's aluminium in the UK. Oh, 
look, it's a bit dark. Let's get that light on. That's better. Perfect. Set it to one side to dry. So we've got a couple of bits we've got to stick on. Right. So obviously here, we've got these two pieces here. So the oil filter goes there, you can see that. The oil filter goes there, and then this one goes there. Right, so, perfect. And obviously we've got a cut piece of tube in. So, I mix between different glues when I'm doing models. Literally, if I've got something that I mean, sometimes the tam Mr. Fit uh, Tammy is thin, uh, um, extra thin. If you're not careful. Can take paint off. There we go. And that seems to be coming out a little bit too quick. But we get there. That's how we do it. Right, so basically, that's them parts. Then, obviously, we've got to wait for that piece to dry because we've got to obviously put that in here. So then that goes in there. Then we've got a piece to put onto here, which is obviously on section two. So what I do is I come back once that other bit is dry. Well, I come back once we're on section two. All right. Yeah. So we're going to now assemble it up to the carbs because on the carburetors we've got to do some uh, painting. But I've got virtually everything else ready to rock and roll, basically. So I've put changed this from the crocodile clips from out here because obviously we've got the bottom bit to put on, which I'm going to put on last. So just got to make sure. Right. So that needs to go that way, which is perfect. So. We've got to see. That's the of sump pan. The reason why I flat black everything, like primer black, especially on these silvers, golds, and metallics, the colour just seems to pop a bit more. So that's just. I mean, it may not, but I've always found it to be better that the silvers and the golds just pop heavily over the black. It is literally unreal. I'm just literally getting everything that I need for this section. So we've got these to put in. And on this, we're going to use the super glue just for ease. You don't need to go. Slap heavy. Just a little bit there. Where the locator and pins are. Obviously we've got to make sure that we've got this the right way, which that is. Just stick that onto there. So we've got another piece to go on there which is a tiny little piece, which is 
over there it's all ready so now this one goes not there saying that that goes there So that's where that goes. It's always making sure that we get things in the right place. So I see the bottom pit clips into there. And obviously the top bit goes into there. So once again, a little bit of super glue where the location pins are. Don't need to go crazily with the super glue perfect just like to make sure Then obviously nothing goes on this part yet because obviously that's further down in the instructions. Then we've got this sump which obviously has got location pins also. So it's just a matter of making sure if it lines up, which that is a nice positive fit. Oh. No need a little bit of glue. Perfect, but as you can see, it's just a slight a shade difference, which is nice. The camera's not really picking it up. Right now, we've got this little piece, which is absolutely tiny. which goes in that way so with that one That's the thing, because some of these parts are so tiny. Well, so the half moon's that way. And the half moon's that way. I'm going to come back, oh no, I think I've got it in, no I haven't, I'm going to come back once I've got it in, I had to put me magnifying on, but as you can see, beauty's in, so that's this side done, then we have to turn around, and we've got this piece that goes in here, and by the looks of it, we've got some 
detailing to do on that. And that's, none of that's in camera shot. Right, let's get this one on. That's a little bit of glue. Don't have to go mad with the glue. That's that one on. Then, I mean, they're asking to paint tops of the bolts, but not being funny, my eyesight ain't that clever. a positive fit. It's a bit in there. Not too much. Let's just get the cotton bud. Just a dump some of that. But so obviously we've got location pins, put two there, one up there. So same again, just a smidge. You don't need to hammer the super glue on. Perfect. The only problem you have is the chrome tends to go I'm happy with that. It's looking good. Right. Now Got to put a piece right in there. So this might be out of camera shot. Dog. So, right, obviously I've been doing quite a bit off camera, so we're going to literally do the final part on part one, so then we can move on, but I've literally done quite a lot off camera, as you can see, got all pipes on, as well as there, um, we put this little piece on, I think, done a detail into there, and obviously we've done a detail on there. So, right, 
We've got carburetors to put on. Engine cap, uh, not engine cap, sorry. Yeah, clutch caps, um, case. Let's go for it. All right, what I'm gonna do first is this piece here, because it's gonna, to me, it seems more more beneficial. Not beneficial, that's the wrong word to be honest. Obviously the gold, I didn't actually mix it the way the colours they said. Um, that was a zero paints colour. Uh, I can't remember what it was now. And obviously that was Tamiya X31 Titan, Titan Gold, sorry. So, that's that. So you've got the case piece here. Looking good. See, we've got carburetors. Which I do think come out very well. But obviously the carburetors sit in these. So, make sure we got this right. There we go. All right, now if we could just sit that over there for a minute. As I said, we've got quite a bit prepped. Right. Obviously, number plate, possibly, possibly not. I don't know yet. Sorry, that was off camera. And as you can see, with these, I painted them on the inside. See this piece goes on there. Sorry for doing a quite a bit of that camera for you. I've got to get used to doing the videos again. So 
I'm saying sometimes I struggle getting the super glue to stick. It's really weird. this there for a couple of seconds. Perfect. Then we move that. Move that to one side. So actually, the final part now. So we've got to literally wait for that just to set up, just for a minute. And then we've got to bring. I haven't actually paint. This is how it come in the kit. And to be honest, I think it looks really nice. And I don't think I'd be able to redo that. Obviously, the brake reservoir, I've done that. Obviously, I've cut the pipe for that. So let's get some glue. Ain't that pipe? Right, so bear with me a second. Right, I'm just gonna pause. I'll be straight back. Right, let's get these on. So before we put this piece on, we need to get this in. Love it when that happens. Let's lift, lift the camera up a bit. Sorry about that. Right. So, obviously, not giving me specific place where it's meant to go. Right. I'm covered into this. We have got locations. Sure, that's to go on there. Yeah, perfect. So that it was all off camera. Right, we've got two location bungs here.
It's quite tricky, this bit. Sorry if this is out of camera view. But I think we've got it. I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks good. Right, that is the end of part one of the Yamaha YZF R1 build. Right, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. We've obviously got more builds coming out. I am going to try and get more regular with uploading. Um, but if you like what you see, like I said, hit the subscribe button. Um, share, press the bell notification for every time I upload. And obviously check the community post because I do, uh, do little polls on every so often. And obviously, like I said, this is going to be a quick build. Then we can build our lorry kit next, which should be coming through very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.